What's up, West Coasters, and welcome back. We're so glad you're here. If you're new, my name's Molly, and behind the camera is Isaac. We are back at it, searching for the best Filipino food in the LA area. We recently received a recommendation to hit Chow King. We've already tried Jollibee, and we recently tried Red Ribbon. Friend of the channel suggested that we round out the trifecta of companies owned by Jollibee and try Chow King. I didn't even know Chow King existed until our friend told us about it. So we're gonna head in and try it out. If you're new around here and you like these kind of videos, make sure to give us a thumbs up and hit the red subscribe button to stay up to date on future videos. So, you hungry? I'm super hungry. We are in West Covina this afternoon. West Covina. California. We happen to be near a Chow King, so we figured we'd try it out. Oh yeah. As far as we know, Chow King is a Filipino company, but it's their version of Chinese fast food. So we're really curious to see what it's like, if it's like Panda Express or anything else we've had, or if it's new. So let's get in there. You have an idea of what you want? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know what I'm gonna get. We'll find out. Okay. So it comes with the... Chicken is fixed for the first one. Can I get one of the buns, the steam buns? Yeah. The... Oh, I'll try that one. Yeah, that sounds really good. Uh, for here. Here we go. We got it. We got the goods. Mmm. <laughs> we got the goods. The feast is ready. I'm hungry. Let's eat. I want to make sure to try this while it's still hot. So this is up first. It's the beef wonton noodle soup. And it smells like pho. We love pho, but I'm sure it's at least somewhat different. Lots of good things in here. There's some beef wontons, there's obviously noodles, I see green onion, cabbage, and quite a few pieces of beef. Here we go, I wanna try beef first. The broth is really flavorful. It tastes like pho broth a little bit. Some similar seasonings. The beef is super tender, which is really nice in a hot soup. The broth is surprisingly flavorful for a fast food uh, soup. It's really tasty. Let's get, let's dig around for the wonton. I'm trying to play it safe. I'm trying to be careful because this soup is super duper hot and I don't want to burn my mouth. Mm. I wonder if it's beef in that wonton or if maybe it's pork or a meat combination. It tastes like it might have something besides beef in there. Maybe I'm wrong. Isaac, you should try it. Let me know what you think. Is that pork in there? I think there's pork in there. Yeah, maybe it could be a blend of the two, beef and pork together. This is really good. I like this soup. Really flavorful, right? Oh, sorry. Great soup, Mrs. Q. <laughs> yeah, this does not taste like fast food soup. This is like a no. restaurant soup. I like this. It's got like a lot of flavor dimension. Really good seasonings. Mm. The noodles are good too. I've tried the broth, the beef, the wontons, but I want to try the noodles with the cabbage. I'm trying to assemble the right bite. I just really love this soup. The noodles, the beef, the cabbage, the wontons, all the delicious flavor, the green onions in there too, make a delicious combination. I could come here on my own for like a lunch and just get this and be super happy. So, so in my book, the beef wonton noodle soup is a huge thumbs up. Definitely recommend grabbing this when you come to Chow King. So we ordered one of the uh, Laureate combos, the two entree combo, and the server helping us said that fried chicken was the first combo and you got to pick the second combo. So we're gonna try this fried chicken here. Mmm. Does it taste like Jollibee chicken? 
You know, I was wondering if it was going to because I know that Jolly Bean owns Chow King. I think that the breading is really different. I think the chicken flavor is really similar to so the way the seasonings are, but the breading almost seems, seems like a little different. Still crispy, still delicious, but if you look at the texture of the breading, it's a little different. And I know that they say, I think they say Chinese style in their advertising, which I've never had Chinese style fried chicken. It's the first for me, but it's good. Gotta get a good Isaac size bite in there. Look, Dad. I'm not the wart, the keeper. Ooh, ooh. Beautiful. Would you say it's good enough like that you'd come back here for the fried chicken? Mm, I think that if I were gonna go for just straight fried chicken between here and Jolly Beef, I would stick with Jolly Beef. Especially is, with that gravy. Yeah, yeah, there's no gravy with this, but still really good. Still excellent. Mm, cheers to that. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you wanna go where everybody knows your name the other item we got with this combo was the black pepper beef. It looks like it has a really healthy amount of mushrooms in it, which I'm excited about because I really like mushrooms. And this came recommended for our second entree option. That's the ticket. Ooh. Interesting. I don't know what I was expecting. For a split second, I was thinking, oh, is this gonna be really sweet, like a teriyaki thing? But then, I remember it had pepper in the name, so it should be a little bit spicier. I know that some places will have, some Asian influence places will have like black pepper steak or pepper beef, so this is good. I really like this. It's, it's a different flavor. It's a little bit of an upcharge over the other options, and it's got tons of mushrooms in it. So if you're a mushroom fan, definitely give us a try. Aww. Yeah, it's good. It is slightly sweet, but it has a nice pepper flavor. Give it a try. Are yeah. you glad you gave it a try? Yeah. Would you come back for it? I would. This is half mushrooms. This should be called black pepper mushroom steak. Mushroom, mushroom. So you gotta be a mushroom stand for it. Yeah, well, absolutely. If you're not a mushroom person, you need to skip this. And if you're a mushroom person, you need to get this. Oh yeah. To round our Laureate combo, we got this Ponsit. It looks almost like the chow mein they have at Panda Express. Let's give it a try. That's different. The noodles are really chewy. It's not very salty, which is nice. Like all the other dishes have been pretty salty so far, but this is like a little bit more balanced. I wish there was more vegetables in it, like more cabbage and more carrots. It's a lot of these really chewy noodles in a brown sauce, but still very good. I'm glad that the combo comes with it. It's a little bit different from just rice for a side. Good. How about some rice to round it out? I love rice. It's rice. You probably want to eat the rice, yeah, with the beef. Yes, rice and beef, rice and beef. It's good. I'm definitely gonna need some help in the comments for pronunciations. Is it Sha Pao or Siu Pao? Let me know in the comments. Kind of spell it out for me. Anyway, I'm gonna just call it Sha Pao. This one is called the Bola Bola, and I believe it's a mix of meats on the inside. I think it's pork, chicken, and maybe some sausage as well. No time like the present to just get in there and try it. So you have to do a little bit of an unpeeling thing here. Definitely reminds me of some of the dim sum we've had before, that steamed bun with a filling. I like this. It's good. And good for you. Great steamed bun texture. You can't, you can't mess that up though. That's delicious already. Oh, this says, this says. Oh, uh, there's sauce. Chow pow sauce. Gotta try it with the sauce. Oh, for sure. I almost forgot to try it with the sauce. Rookie mistake. We got this bad boy sauced up. Here we go. That's what it needs. The meat seasoning on the inside is somewhat subtle, but then once you get the sauce on, boom. And boom goes the dynamite. That's when it hits. Okay, the sauce is almost like a soy base, kind of a little bit like teriyaki, but also a little more kind of savory and rich than that. I'm gonna get a little more so I can kind of give a, my final answer. Without the sauce, good. With the sauce, mind-blowing. Shop how? Huge thumbs up. What's that? I don't know. This also came in the combo meal, but it looks like almost like it reminds me of a little piece of dim sum that you might get. Guessing it's gonna be like a glutinous, kind of sticky rice ball. It's got sesame seeds on the outside of it. Oh, there's a filling. What's inside? I think it's a red bean filling. It's good, it's like slightly sweet. If you know what this is, if you know the name for this, please put it in the comments below, we'd love to know. 
So no sharing with me, huh? Well, I'm sorry. It's just so small and easy to pop it. Just popped it right in your mouth. I'll have to come back next time and yeah. order it for myself. We'll come back. We, I, I do think we're going to come back because so far so good here. We like this place. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely fast food, but it's exciting flavors for fast food. Mm -hmm. We knew coming here that Chow King is a company coming out of the Philippines. So we thought if there was a dessert option, hopefully we would try Holo Holo again. But then we feasted our eyes on this bad boy. It's called Hot Tahoe. We, we've never heard of it before. And it looked just crazy enough that we had to try it. It is a hot dessert. It looks like there's some type of really soft custardy uh, dessert in there. Tofu. It's tofu? I think it's tofu. I don't think so. Or do you so. think it's custard? Well, maybe just tofu. Custard, tofu? It's either like a custard or a tofu, like a really soft silken tofu. I'm really not sure, but it's in this hot liquid that kind of looks maybe brown sugary, and then there's these little dark bits in there. I think that's tapioca balls. You think so? Uh, yeah, you might be right. To be honest, this is one of those times where we're jumping in head first. Uh, we really don't know what to expect, but no time like the present. That's actually really good. It low-key gives me like oatmeal in the morning vibes because it's got that really distinct brown sugar flavor and it's in like this hot liquid. And then you've got the definitely tapioca balls. And then I think some type of really soft tofu. Together, it makes this like sweet, desserty comfort food that I honestly have never tried anything like this before, but it's kind of blowing my mind. Yeah, I'm actually kind of into this. Now, does it stand up to Holo Holo? Not so sure. I mean, Holo Holo is kind of just this magic dessert experience. But if it's like a cold weather day and you want something sweet and like I said, like a desserty comfort food, I think hot Tahoe is the thing. Who knew? Yeah, you're digging the soup. Yeah, this is really good. I think out of everything that I tried today, I think the soup is my favorite thing. This wonton beef soup, it has a really rich, deep flavor. And I think that maybe it's just, you know, coming from a Western perspective, I don't usually think like, I'm gonna go to the fast food restaurant and get some soup. <laughs> I might get some chili or something somewhere, but this is excellent. This is so good. The broth is flavorful, inexpensive. I would say that this, for me, out of everything, this is my favorite thing. And mm -hmm. I'll also add, we didn't try everything on the menu today. Uh, we might come back, but we just wanted to pick some really unique items that we never tried before. And I wanted to echo what Isaac said. I think that the soup was my favorite thing. I have to agree with Isaac. I think the soup was the tastiest thing we tried today. Total surprise that it was that flavorful. Everything was really good, but um, I'm gonna be thinking about that soup a lot after this. Well, look at that. What do we see in the background? There's a store, there's a grocery store right there. What's there's behind? even, yeah, there's even a red ribbon in the grocery store that this is uh, right next to. So it's kind of like funny that there's every single Jollibee company is represented in this whole shop. Center. Yeah, because there's a Jolly Bee too, right? Yep. Oh my gosh, maybe one day we'll get really crazy and hit all three. We'll do the Jolly Bee trifecta in one video. Well, that was super fun. Chow King was delicious and some really unique flavors we had never tried before. Overall, we really liked it. And until we see you here next time, cheers! cheers. Diet Coke, of course.